Hello, I'm Rebecca Flaherty and today we're continuing our mini-series of classic patterns in Procreate. We've been working our way through this collection here of very recognisable pattern styles and today we're going to make this simple basket weave pattern. Again, as long as you're careful with the snapping, this is simple enough for a beginner to tackle. If you're a regular here and want to skip straight to the beginning of the tutorial, you can do that with the timestamps in the description. If this is your first time here, then welcome to the Pattern Makers Toolkit. If you want to use the same colour palette as me that I'm going to be using here today, you can find that over on the website. So let's go back out into the gallery and we will set our canvas up. So we're going to start with a 3600 pixel canvas. I have a preset here. If you don't have one, you can create a new canvas, 3600 pixels for the width and height and a DPI of 300. I'm going to click cancel and use this one here. So we're going to start off by making a 90 degree basket weave pattern. If we go back out here, you can see this one rotates at 45 degrees. We're going to start by making a design more like this. So we're going to make this little box here, these stripes in it, and then rotate that. So let's go back out into the canvas we just made and look at how to set that up. So I'm going to start by filling this layer with this pink colour. Then we're going to tap transform and with nearest neighbour I'm going to tap on this up here and I'm going to change it to 900 pixels. Then I'm going to duplicate this layer, alpha lock it and I'm going to make the colour of this one pink or lighter pink. So it's just two colours we'll be working with today, a darker one and a lighter one. So this one we're going to tap transform and tap on the node there, uncheck the ratio, we'll leave the width at 900 and the height we're going to change to 540 pixels and then we can center that on the middle of this box here then we'll duplicate this bottom one again drag this one to the top tap transform and the width and height of this one we want the width to still be 900 and the height of this one is going to be 180 pixels and then we can center this one on that box as well so there we go, that's the little square that we're going to be working with. If I group those together and then we tap transform on that, we've got a nice 900 pixel square box to work with. And that's going to give us four repeats across the width and four repeats top to bottom of our 3600 pixel canvas. So I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'll hide this one so we've got a layered group to go back to and I'm going to flatten this one. So then I can duplicate this, tap transform, and then snap it to the edge of this box here and I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees so it's going the other way and then just make sure that it's still snapped. You should have an orange line down the middle because this bit will be snapping to the centre of the canvas and along the top there because it's snapping to the top and you'll also have that crossing there because it's snapping to this box as well. Then this one we can duplicate and put that one across there snapping it into place there and then the vertical one, duplicate, and we can snap that to the edge there. And you can zoom in and make sure that you've got no gaps along there and that all of these at the bottom are lining up and there's no pixels out of place there. Once you've got that row, we're going to build another row underneath, so don't flatten these yet. So let's duplicate one of the vertical ones and we'll snap that over there you'll get an orange line across the middle and an orange line down the side and a blue one along the top there then we can duplicate a vertical one put that in there duplicate that again that one can go over here check in always for the snapping lines there and then we just need to duplicate a horizontal one there and snap that into place and again just go and zoom in and make sure that you've got all straight lines everywhere so then we can pinch all of these together onto one layer duplicate that and then snap that down there to the bottom so that's our basic 90 degree basket weave pattern let's have a look at that in repeat now so let's duplicate this layer we'll hide that one to go back to for later tap transform and snap it up to the middle there until it says 1800 pixels. Duplicate and then we're going to snap this into the corners of the canvas. And then you can just pan up and down this middle line here and make sure you've got no gaps. 
and that all your pixels are nicely lined up and we can merge those together so that's our basic 90 degree basket weave i'll hide that one now and we'll look at how to get the diagonal basket weave pattern so on this layer we're going to tap transform and we're going to change our interpolation method to bicubic now then we're going to rotate 45 degrees and tap fit to canvas then we can duplicate this I keep getting fluff off my new jumper on the iPad screen. Where was I? Tap to transform on this one. And with snapping and magnetics on, we're going to drag this to the bottom and down to the corner there until it snaps into place. And you'll see that this will repeat at that 45 degree angle. And then we can do the same with that one, snapping it up into the corner there. Duplicate and snap that up into this corner. and then again snap it down to there then we can pinch all of those together now when we do this 45 degree rotate we do end up with this weird semi-transparent line in there there's nothing you can do about that all of the interpolation methods will give that line but we can easily knock that line out by duplicating if I just undo that and zoom in so you can see a bit better if I duplicate this layer it's actually a semi-transparent line and the more times you duplicate all those semi-transparencies stack up on top of each other and knock each other out so you can then flatten those so yeah you can't do anything about that line but it's really easy to fix by just duplicating and merging so then that is our basket weave pattern rotated 45 degrees and i think it looks really cool like this and now we can test this to see that this is repeating properly so we can tap transform snap this up to the middle there till that says 1800 pixels and then we're going to place it in each of these like we're used to doing and you can zoom into the middle and check that those are all lined up properly and then that is our basket weave pattern i hope you had fun watching this tutorial and it's given you lots of ideas for different directions you can take a basket weave tile in you could do things like adding shadow changing up the colors all kinds of things if you have a go and you share your pattern on cara don't forget to tag me at becky flaherty so i can see it don't forget if you want this crazy color palette here you can find that over in the pattern makers toolkit the pattern makers toolkit is kind of like a patreon group except it's free you get access to all the resources in the pattern makers toolkit on my website including those i make for my skillshare classes early access to some of my youtube tutorials and drawing prompts discounts in my etsy store and one new freebie exclusively via email every month and i only send out one email per month i promise and lastly if you want to see more pattern tutorials like this every week then don't forget to subscribe here on youtube have fun stay creative and i will see you soon